Come, ye blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom, alleluia, which hath been prepared for you from the foundation of the world, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O sing unto the Lord a new song, sing unto the Lord all the whole earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Come ye blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom, alleluia, which hath prepared for you the, from the foundation of the world, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be opened, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. Thou, Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have, have mercy upon us. For Thou, Thou only art holy. holy. Thou, Thou only art the Lord. Thou, Thou only, O Christ, Christ with, with the Holy Ghost, art the Most High in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with thy spirit. spirit. Let us pray. O God, who dost gladden us with the yearly solemnity of the resurrection of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, mercy grant that we may so observe this temporal feast, that we may be found worthy to attain to everlasting felicity. Through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour, and a man lame from birth was being carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, 
which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of those who entered the temple. Seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. And Peter directed his gaze at him with John and said, Look at us. And he fixed his attention upon them, expecting to receive something from them. But Peter said, I have no silver and gold, but I give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. And leaping up, he stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God and recognizing him as the one who sat for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let Israel now confess that he is gracious and that his mercy endureth forever. appeared unto Peter. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. very day, the first day of the week, two of the disciples of Jesus were going to a village named Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing together, Jesus himself drew near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What is this conversation which you are holding with each other as you walk? And they stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, named Cleopas, answered him, I, the only visitor to Jerusalem, who does not know the things that have happened there in these days. And he said to them, What things? And they said to him, concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a great prophet, mighty in deed and word, before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and rulers delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, besides all this, it is now the third day since this has happened. Moreover, some women of our company amazed us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. And they came back saying that they had even seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said but him they did not see. And he said to them, O foolish men, and slow of hearts, believe all that the prophets had spoken. 
Was it not necessary that Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. So they drew near to the village to which they were going. He appeared to be going further, but they constrained him, saying, Stay with us. For it is toward evening, and the day is now far spent. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at table with them, he took the bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished out of their sight. They said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked to us on the road? while he opened to us the scriptures. And they rose that same hour and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven gathered together, and those who were with them who said, The Lord has risen indeed and has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road, and how he was known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. I'm sure yesterday I remarked how beautiful that resurrection appearance with Saint Mary Magdalene. And of course, every resurrection appearance is beautiful and I would suppose you would say each one has a particular beauty. But I know in many people's hearts this story of the road to Emmaus has a beauty because the resonance that, he ha that it has with us as a worshipping community, as we come, as Christ commands us, to the Mass. The story begins with two people who are running away, but they are part of a fellowship and they remark on being part of that fellowship. They remark on it before they run away. And if you think of the works of Tolkien, especially of The Hobbit, and of The Lord of the Rings, the thief has the fellowship under Gandalf and then in the next generation the ring bearer has that fellowship of a company with Gandalf and of course Gandalf the figure resonates totally and utterly to Christ as does the fellowship and its frailty to ourselves as we know not just in our generations but in all the generations that have preceded us those who proclaim Christ often do so because they show their frailty And when we come to Mass, yes, in many ways we come as who we are. But we never come alone. We come to be part of the fellowship, the mystical body of Christ. And these two are together. 
just two. And they are discussing, they are rehearsing the pain that they have in the same way as yesterday, St. Mary Magdalene, the grief of seeing the one who had healed her being crucified and seemingly his body being taken away. So they, these two, are beginning to reflect on what has happened and they cannot see it. And they even remark that, that, that and, uh, you know, the, there's been angels and that Jesus is alive. And then, as we do when we come to Mass, Jesus, when he comes to them and in the Mass, when Christ is with us, we at first rehearse the scriptures and then through those who are privileged to preach then open them up of course in no way but at least an attempt to what Christ did to those two disciples and that he, and it must have been extraordinary, goes through what they know. And their lives begin to change so much that they are no longer concerned about themselves. And again, when we come to Mass, it is not just me and God. It is me within the faithful, within the people of God, coming to worship God, to hear the word. Firstly, through the prophets, through the Old Testament. Then for those who reflected on the resurrection, if there is an epistle, or in Easter time, when often instead of an Old Testament, we have the Acts of the Apostles. Then we have the Word, the life of Christ, his death and resurrection. And that, in the Mass, changes us. And it changed these two. They were no longer concerned about themselves. They were concerned about the one who was journeying with them. Their focus had stopped being on themselves and their grief. Their focus became this man who had opened for them the scriptures. And they invite him in. And then, as we will in but a few moments when we have the Eucharistic prayer, we participate not only in Christ's death, but resurrection. When we hold the host, behold the Lamb of God, it's not the Lamb of God that has been sacrificed and that was it. It is the living Christ the living Christ that helps us to rejoice that it is true. And it is when Christ breaks the bread, after he has blessed it, after he has offered it to the Father yet again, that those two go off go back into the danger zone, go back to Jerusalem. But before they do, and again, this is why it is so important for us to know the scriptures, 
Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked to us on the road, while he opened to us the scriptures? It is when we know our faith that Christ can enter into us because we have the ability to open our hearts to him. It is not because we know verse this or verse that. It is the state of ourselves to open ourselves to Christ. And then, as with St. Mary Magdalene yesterday, once this resurrection appearance has happened, they go off and they do. They don't go away and say, well, that was jolly good, wasn't it? They go off into the danger of Jerusalem because Christ is risen. And our lives in the church should always be after we have rejoiced and been participated and allowed Christ to be in us, both in word and sacrament, to then go off and to tell the world that Christ is risen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He's risen indeed. Alleluia. <clears throat> and to stand and affirm our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and, earth, and of all things, things visible and invisible, and, and in God, one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten Son of God, God begotten of, God, of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He, he suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Drawn in with faith and make your humble confession to Almighty God, meekly kneeling upon your knees. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge well our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed, against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us, we do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father, for thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honour and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy had promised forgiveness of sins to all those with heart repentance and true faith turn unto him. Have mercy on us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In what kind of words our Saviour Christ saith unto all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travel and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Lord opened the doors of heaven and rained down manna also upon them for to eat. He gave them bread from heaven, so man did eat angels' food. Alleluia. <coughs> Blessed art thou, O Lord God of all creation, for thy bounty have we received this bread which we offer unto thee, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, when she shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of all creation, for of thy bounty have we received this wine which we offer unto thee, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, whence she shall become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, be God Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of thy hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer unto thee, O Lord, the sacrifice of our paschal gladness, whereby thou hast wondrously bestowed upon thy church her food and sustenance through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with thy spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up unto, unto the, Lord. the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It, it is meet and right, right so to do. do. It is very meet right in our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee. O Lord, Holy Father, almighty everlasting God, but chiefly are we bound to praise thee for the glorious resurrection of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the very Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and hath taken away the sin of the world, who by his death has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again hath won for us everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we Lord and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God, God of hosts, hosts Heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Therefore, most merciful Father, we humbly pray thee through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. And we ask that accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices. We offer unto thee first for the Holy Catholic Church, that thou vouchsafe safety keep her in peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with thy servant, Francis our Pope, Keith our Ordinary, and all the faithful guardians of the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, O Lord, thy servants and handmaids, 
and all who hear understand whose faith is known unto thee and their steadfastness manifest, on whose behalf we offer unto thee all themselves offer unto thee this sacrifice of praise, for themselves and for all who are theirs, for the redemption of their souls, for the hope of their health and well-being, and offer their prayers unto thee, the eternal God, the living and the true. Uniting one communion, we've Uniting in one communion, we celebrate the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to the flesh. We venerate, moreover, the memory first of the glorious ever Virgin Mary, mother of, mother of the same, our God and Lord Jesus Christ, our blessed Joseph, her spouse, as also blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Thaddeus, Linus, Clatus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lars, Cosogonos, John, and Paul, Cosmos, and Damien, and of all thy saints. Grant that by their merits and prayers we may in all things be defended with the help of thy protection. We beseech thee then, O Lord, grace you to accept this oblation from us, thy servants, and from thy whole family. We present it unto thee on behalf also of those whom thou hast vouchsafed to regenerate by water and the Holy Spirit, granting unto them remission of all their sins. Order thou our days in thy peace, and bid us to be delivered from eternal damnation, and to be numbered in the fold of thine elect. Now, save, O God, we beseech thee in all things to make this oblation blessed, approved, and accepted, a perfect and worthy offering, that it may become for us the body and blood of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Who the day before he suffered, took bread into his holy and venerable hands, with eyes lifted up to heaven unto thee, God, his almighty Father, giving thanks that he blessed, broke, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Likewise, after supper, taking also this goodly chalice into his holy and venerable hands, giving thanks that he blessed and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim thy death, death, O Lord, and profess thy resurrection until thou come again. again. Wherefore, O Lord, be thy servants on thy holy people also. Remembering the blessed passion of the same Christ, thy Son, our Lord, as also his resurrection from the dead and his glorious ascension to heaven. To offer unto thine excellent majesty thine own gifts and bounty, the pure victim, the holy victim, the immaculate victim the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Vouchsafe to look upon them with a merciful and pleasant countenance, and to accept them even as thou didst vouchsafe to accept the gifts of thy servant Abel the righteous, and the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and the holy sacrifice the immaculate victim, which thy high priest Melchizedek offered unto thee. We humbly beseech you, almighty God, command these offerings to be brought by the hands of thy holy angels, thine altar on high, in sight of thy divine majesty, that all we who at this partake of the altar shall receive the most sacred body and blood of thy Son, may be fulfilled with the heavenly benediction and grace. And also, Lord, thy servants and handmaids who have gone before us sealed with the seal of faith and who sleep the sleep of peace. For Morris and for Sarah. To them, O Lord, and to all the rest in Christ, beseech you grant the abode of refreshing, of light, and of peace. To our sinners, all thy servants, who hope in the multitude of thy mercies. Vouchsafe to grant subpart and fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs. 
was John, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicitas, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and with all thy saints, within whose fellowship we beseech ye admit us not weighing our merit, but granting us forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom, O Lord, thou dost ever create all these good things, thus sanctify, quick and bless, and bestow them upon us. By whom and with whom and in whom, to thee, O Father Almighty, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all honour and glory throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour Christ hath commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we beseech you from all evils past, present, and to come. And at the intercession of the blessed and glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and with Andrew and all the saints, favour we grant peace in our days, that by the help of thine availing mercy, we may ever both be free from sin and safe from all distress. For thine, thine is, is the kingdom, kingdom and the power and, and the glory, glory forever, forever and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to thine apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of thy church, and grant her peace and unity according to thy will. He livest and reigneth with the Father and Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and with, with thy spirit. spirit. Alleluia, Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us, us keep, keep the feast. feast. Alleluia. O Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the, the world, world, have, have mercy, mercy upon us. us. O Lamb, o Lamb of God, that takest away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Upon us. O, Lamb o Lamb of God, God that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come, come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are, we are not worthy, worthy so much as so gather up the crumbs, crumbs under thy table. Thy table. But thou, thou art the same Lord, Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies made clean by his body, and our souls washed to his most precious blood, and, and that, that we may evermore ever dwell in him, well in him and he in us. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> behold the Lamb of God, behold him that taketh away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall yield. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall yield. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed.
Christ being raised from the dead dieth no more, alleluia. Death hath no more dominion over him, alleluia, alleluia. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Almighty and ever living God, we, we most heartily thank thee for the thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy, of thy Son, Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favour and goodness towards us, and that we are very members incorporate in the mystical body of thy Son the blessed company of all faithful, faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom, 
by the merits of the most precious death and passion of our dear Son. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory, world without end. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We beseech, O Lord, that we, being cleansed from the corruption of our former nature, may, by thy devout receiving of this holy sacrament, be transformed into a new creature, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. spirit. The peace of God which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go forth in peace, alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. And be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, hath brought joy to the world, grant we beseech thee that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may attain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ our Lord.